Oh, you're, you're, you're a nutcase, aren't you? I'm a nutcase? <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Real Talk. If you're new to the channel, my name's Christian and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. If we get 100 likes in this video, I will sleep in my BMW M2 for 24 hours. I'll do that for you guys. So today's video is a very, very exciting one. Before we get into that, I just want to apologize for some reason. The main camera that I use for my intros and outros makes my voice sound really, really deep. I don't sound like that. Just listen to how I sound on the normal GoPros. That is my real voice. So today's video, I'm meeting up with a good friend of mine and we're taking the Toyota Yaris GR on track. I'm a big, big fan of the Yaris GR. I've driven one before, but not as hard as I'm going to drive it today. And we all know that the expectations of this car are very, very high. So it'll be interesting to see how it copes on track because I like to consider myself a handy driver and the owner of the car is definitely a handy driver. So we'll be going through its paces. Of course, we are gonna be concentrating so there may not be a lot of chat, but my friend has kindly allowed me to drive his car as well. So how the day will pan out, first half he'll be driving and I'll be jumping in for a few hot laps myself. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, why aren't you taking your M2 on track? Reason for it, last track that I went on, Castle Coombe. The brakes just can't hack track days. Any M car, standard brakes, no. Four or five laps, you get serious brakes fade brake judder it's not right so i'm waiting for a new brake setup but i will be putting another track day video out in march unless i book one sooner where i will be taking the m2 on track it's gonna be really interesting to see it's early in the morning i'm gonna head down to the track now i don't know why i'm shouting because i'm absolutely buzzing so let's go get it you're, you're not case, are you? i'm a nutcase <laughs> That's it. Track I always get proper nervous <laughs> when you're filling out. A little bit of rain to start the day. It all makes for the fun. So you've so you've got uh, an induction kit on this, right? Yeah, induction kit. Uh, I've done a bit of suspension as well. I've got the white line anti lift kit. Nice. And I've got some new rear uh, camber arms. So solid then, really. Yeah, I was set up by suspension secrets. I'm excited, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm sure there's going to be a few red flags. You reckon? Yeah, no doubt. It's a cheap track day, for one. Well, how much, how much was it? 129 quid, was it? Something like that, yeah. It's crazy, so, isn't it? Which is great, but then you get all the idiots come out when you... It's a cheap one. Sometimes I prefer the RMA ones, which are about five, 600 quid, but the quality of driving's... Yeah, much, much better. Don't want, want to be. Don't kill me, Ollie. Yeah, uh, try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Get a warm up lap in first. Yeah, don't go too hard too quick. There's Luke. Bloody hell, he can drive, can't he? he? He's very quick, Luke. Brakes are good, you know. Yeah, they really bite. They're really good. They they grab really well.
so good. <laughs> There. I know. Do touch that. Very well corrected, though. Not quite got the grip I want yet. Yeah. a lot of people out, doesn't it? Yeah, especially in, in winter. Yeah. It doesn't get sun for about three months. And this one's got an intercooler and an oh, exhaust on it. Has it? Oh, come on, Ollie. You know you can pedal better than him. <laughs> ah, yeah. He chickened out. <laughs> he didn't want the heat. I can't believe the brakes are still keeping up. Like it's yeah, unreal. The heat very good.
<laughs> it's definitely grippier now. That's the guy with no rear view mirrors again. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Feel it gathering up. Yeah. Insane. What a piece of kit this is. You've made me want one. <laughs> Still not as quick as these. Oh, oh. Feel the diffs working. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable though how capable this car is. I'm generally shocked. You hear all the talk of it, but It's, I ain't got words for it. <laughs> Out the box, it's just insane. Yeah. I know you are, you are. You're, you're a nutcase, but you. I'm a nutcase? <laughs> what do you mean? Half a lap out, we've had it fully four wheel drifting on two bends. So, good start. Oh, sorry. I'm so glad I learned to heel and toe, though.
better than you probably think you are. You're a good driver, pal. Thank you. Obviously, I'm not used to, I don't drive loads and loads of cars. Like, I'm used to mine, but when you get into a car that you're not used to at all. So guys, there you have it. To conclude, the Toyota Yaris GR is an incredible piece of kit out of the box. Whether you're using it on road or you're taking it on track, I am actually blown away with how capable the car is. This is helmet hair, wearing a helmet all day. Yeah, we drove the car all day on track. We think we've done about 40 laps. And it is so impressive. It is so capable out of the box. I've heard good things about it, and I thought, is it as good as they say? But myself and, and my friend who owns the car really pushed it hard, and we, we were really impressed with it. I think the most impressive thing was the brakes. You know, we were braking very hard to the point where the hazards were coming on uh, for a split second, and there was no fade at all at any point in the day and the, the brakes kept grabbing as well as they did at the beginning of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like that, more track days, do just let me know. I'd love to put content out like that for you guys. But other than that, take care and I'll see you next time.